Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. If this is your first time visiting me, I would like to thank you. While you're here, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. If you have already subscribed to me, thank you and welcome back. However, by taking this action, it will help me to grow. Also take a moment to read my about page so that you can have some understanding of who I am. I will never copy another person's work, nor will I copy another person's title. I am authentically me. This work is a part of my bloodline. Thank you for visiting, and I pray that you will return. Please check out my other videos. All are welcome to share his or her story in the comment section below, because your story may be a helpmate to someone else. My channel is a no-judgment zone place for healing in some sort of way. If my video does not resonate with you, please do not try to make it fit at all. For anyone else and everyone else that this message does make sense to, take from it what will help you on your journey towards your happiness in every area of your life. Please check out my other videos only if you know what your placements are. Cross watchers, you are most definitely welcome. I am Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. Let's begin this healing journey together. Today, I will be doing the sign of Aquarius. If you are an Aquarius, this reading is for you. If you have Aquarius in your chart, this reading is for you. If you are a cross watcher and you just want to find out some information about an Aquarius and what's going on in his or her life, this reading is for you as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergy season. Spirit guys, help me to deliver the most accurate message that I possibly can for whomever needs to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. However, if I'm specifically talking about a male, I will say so. If I am specifically speaking about a female, I will say so. This message is for the sign of Aquarius. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is doing well. Catch me on my lives. I am starting to do lives a little more frequently than not. I recently did a reading for a person that was on my live feed. Um, she and I spoke. I did a reading for her, and it was because the energy was very heavy, and I felt compelled to speak with her. However, catch me on my live. You never know what could happen. And the reading that I did with, for her was for free. Was for free. So she's one of my three. I was going to give three free readings. She's one of my three. Hopefully, she'll, you know, leave a message, leave a comment to share with you how her reading went. Spirit guys, help me to deliver the most accurate message that I possibly can for whomever needs to hear it. This reading is for the sign of Aquarius. This reading is for the sign of Aquarius. Help me to deliver the most accurate message that I possibly can for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, we have three cards already. This will be a nine card spread. Spirit guys, help me to deliver the most accurate message that I possibly can for whomever needs to hear it. Please tell me what I need to hear. Show me what I need to see for the sign of Aquarius. I welcome all of my spirit guides to help me with this reading. Help me to deliver the most accurate reading. A few of the cards turned over. Spirit guides, help me to deliver the most accurate message that I possibly can for the sign of Aquarius. Show me what I need to see. Tell me what I need to hear. This is for the sign of Aquarius. 
two more cards, please. Mm, let's see. We're going to have a few bonus cards. I'm going to ask the spirit guides for another card. Spirit guides, can I have one more card for the sign of Aquarius? I didn't want to put those back. So this will be a 12 card spread for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, let us begin. The first card Aquarius that we have coming out is the Empress. This is the number three card. So when the Empress comes out, that's fertility. So someone may be pregnant, either you or someone around you, or you may be expecting from your person. However, this card, the Empress can mean abundance. The energy is feminine. So even if you are a masculine, guess what? You are in touch with your feminine side. Both males and females have a masculine and a feminine side to them. So if you are a male, you are in touch with your feminine side. If you are a female, you are in touch with your feminine side. This card, the Empress means beauty. So when people look at you, they could be mesmerized. It doesn't matter if you are a male or a female. They could be attracted to how you look. Um, creation, you could be creating something, growth. You want something to grow, whether it be in your career, whether it be in your marriage, in your relationship, you want growth. This is the marriage card. This is for someone who may possibly ma be married or thinking about getting married. This is nurture. Um, you're going to reap the rewards of whatever you put your hands on. Whatever you touch is going to turn to gold because you will be reaping the rewards from that. This is the Five of Swords. So when the Five of Swords comes out, that's conflict. So you may be having a disagreement with someone and you may possibly feel defeated. However, some of you may feel betrayed by this person because you think by having this conflict, this disagreement, that it is a loss. But don't look at it as a loss. Look at it as maybe this person needed to be out of your life. Um, competition, you felt like this person was competing with you for one reason or another. However, there will be a victory out of all of this. Through all of this deceit, there will be a victory and the victory will be yours. However, with this conflict and this disagreement, you feel like there's no win. We have the justice card, which represents the number 11. So legalities, you may be dealing with a legal situation. However, the truth is going to be coming out. This situation is cause and effect. Someone is willing to take accountability for his or her actions. However, the law could be involved. But you, Aquarius, want some balance. You want fairness because through all the turmoil, there's going to be some consequences surrounding this whole situation. And the truth is going to come out. And Aquarius, I think this is on whomever side that you're dealing with because there has been some conflict. There has been some disagreements, some deceit, a lot of betrayal. However, guess what? The truth will be coming out. Someone has to take a accountability for everything that has transpired. The law will be involved. And when the law gets involved, guess what? There will be some balance, some fairness. People will have to pay for their consequences. And we have the number 18, which is the moon card. There were a lot of illusions in this situation. You keep thinking about someone that you want to be with because you know where you're at right now is not a safe place. You, your subconscious mind, you're calling out for someone to come in and help you. Your intuition is dead on point. 
you feel like there's a lot of deception around you. However, you keep dreaming. Your spirit guides are sending you messages through your dreams. You have a lot of anxieties and fears. There's confusion around you, Aquarius. So proceed with caution. We have the Queen of Wands. And when the Queen of Wands comes out, that's someone who is very ambitious, popular, vibrant, confident, powerful, sexy, and strong. Aquarius, you are taking charge. You're being very confident and you need to stand in your power because whatever this truth is, the law will be involved. And I've gotten this for you in a few of my Aquarius readings. And it's like the same scenario. A legal situation is about to erupt. The truth is coming out. Someone has to take accountability for how they've been treating you, Aquarius. You will be treated fairly when it comes to the eyes of the law. There will be some balance. But the people or the person that has hurt you, there are some consequences associated with that said person or people. We have the Two of Cups. Partnership, love, friendship, a mutual attraction, connection. You will be reconciling with someone. The Two of Cups is a partnership. So this could be a partner that's hurting you. A boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband or a wife. This can be a partner. Not of yours, of someone else who has been hurting you. This could be a friend as well. However, the Two of Cups means a love affair, but I can also mean a reunion, reconciliation. You're going to be back with the person or people who you want to be with, and it's going to happen sooner than later, Aquarius. But what I'm feeling is that even though we see the two of cups here as a partnership, as love, as a mutual attraction, I can't help but to feel like these two people are the two people that have been mistreating you. And the law is about to find out about it. We have the King of Wands. You are a born leader, Aquarius. You are a visionary. You're very bold. You can be whatever you want to be. And some of you are are an entrepreneur, a boss. However, you are very magnetic. A lot of people are attracted to you, not just because of the way you look, but because of how you carry yourself, the energy that's around you. Some of you think, some of you, right? Some of you Aquarius is a lot of people come to you as you being their mentor, as you being an, an advisor. However, Aquarius, you are a very independent soul. And we have the devil, which is the number 15. There's someone around you, possibly these people who have hurt you and that's been trying to cover it up. But guess what? There's not going to be any more confusion about what's been going on with you. The truth will be told, Aquarius. These people have addictions. These people are trying to keep everything hidden of what transpired with you. There's a lot of manipulation. They have manipulated law enforcement before people of higher power, even in the courts. However, someone sees the situation differently and someone is going to help you, Aquarius, because there's been so much manipulation, but someone sees through this manipulation. 
this is sex, a sex addiction. So somebody could have hurt you sexually, physically, but the truth is going to be revealed. Right now is the time that all truths are coming to the light. There's not going to be any stopping it. This is the four of swords. This is rest, recuperation. Aquarius, you will be getting away from these people. And when you get away from these people, you're going to need some rest. You're going to need a timeout. You're overwhelmed. And you're going to need a lot of healing. The chariot. This is the number seven. So when the chariot arrives, right? This is progress. This will be a victory for you, Aquarius. You will be traveling because you are determined. You will be overcoming these obstacles. You will have nothing but success in your life, Aquarius. Nothing but. Trust me, your angels are working hard over time to help you to get out of this situation with this person or these people that have been hurting you. Let's talk about this number seven. The number seven represents fullness and life. The number seven represents perfection. Seven is also a number of intuition, spirituality, and mysticism, spiritual enlightenment, inner wisdom, and also strength and psychic abilities. You have psychic abilities, Aquarius. So when you see this number, your guardian angels are letting you know that you are on the right path. You will overcome any obstacles. Your angels are happy with your choices. Continue on your present path and you will be rewarded. This right now, you will be receiving help. And I know I've said that in a few of my readings, but rest assured, help is on the way because someone is going to see through the lies and the manipulation. We have the Ace of Cups. When the Ace of Cups appears, new beginnings away from all of these people or this person. Some of you may want new love and you will have that. Abundance, you will have it. Abundance and love in your finances. Whatever this means for you, but you will have lots of abundance. This right here, the Ace of Cups, this is your first stages to your new beginnings. And the first stage is someone finding out what has been going on with you. Marriage. Some of you may want to get married, thinking about getting married. Some of you may possibly be married, but when the Ace of Cups shows up, that's the marriage card. This is birth. Birth is new beginnings. Birth is the first stages. Someone is going to be sending you an offer. We have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is sudden action. As I said, someone sees through the lies and the manipulation. They see the trauma that you've been going through. And someone is going to help you. So there's going to be sudden action. It's going to be very quick and aggressive. So be very careful. You have a warrior instinct about you. However, the person that's coming to help you is an or a warrior and they are fast thinkers and they are risk takers. So be brave, Aquarius, be brave. And at the bottom of the deck, this is the three of swords. Yes, some of you Aquariuses have been feeling heartbroken. There's a lot of emotional pain with you. You feel abandoned. You felt like the people that you're with or the person that you are with betrayed you. And you have been suffering. There's been a lot of conflict. 
You've been crying a lot of tears, but guess what? Dry those tears because this situation is going to be resolved. And some of you desperately need help to get out of your situation. And trust me, your story is being told. The number three, right? The three of swords. The number three is all about creation, manifestation, and also abundance. Angel number three, also known as the number of harmony. And the tarot deck, the number three is represented by the Empress card. And when you have the Empress card, the Empress signifies creativity, growth, abundance, and also happiness. She is also fertility and the earth goddess. However, the number three embodies the concept of wholeness or completion as in the beginning, middle, and end. It also represents the family as in mother, father, and child. In many cultures, the number three represents the cycle of life, as in birth, life, and death, or life, death, and rebirth, or even the past, present, and also the future. You have a new beginning. It may not feel like it. You may not even understand how all of this is going to take place, but there will be a rebirth. There will be some quick changes, some sudden action. Someone is going to be very aggressive in helping you. Someone is going to take charge. You may feel like this situation has lasted for a very long time. And it feels that way, doesn't it? But trouble doesn't last always. So help is most definitely on the way. I'm going to clarify a few of these cards and these were my bonus cards so i'm going to clarify the bonus row spirit guys help me to clarify the number 13 which is the moon card help me to clarify the moon this is for the sign of aquarius we know that help is on the way we know that you have been protecting the Aquarius person. The devil card. What does the devil card mean in this situation? Why is the devil card here? What can, inf what information can you give me for Aquarius? The devil. I'm going to reshuffle. Spirit, guys, help me to clarify the devil card. Why is the devil card here in this Aquarius reading? Who is this person? Who are these people? Aquarius has felt like they've been suffering in a few of my readings. What information can I give Aquarius to help them? I know that their guardian angels are with them. getting hot. I'm going to keep shuffling until I have an answer. The Knight of Swords. And we have a bonus card again. So, clarifying the Moon card, we have the number 23, which is Mice. This is you being worried which we know that Aquarius, this is feeling like that loss. You feel like that you lost someone, but someone is actually waiting for you. You've been going through a lot of emotional stress. You feel like there's been theft around you, but theft of your family that you once knew deterioration. You feel like things are falling apart around you. There's sneaky people around you, toxic, and they've been draining you. I 
I also ask the spirit guides to clarify the devil card. And we have the number 41, which is tunnel. These people have been hiding the truth, but the truth will be exposed because before Halloween, it's a time of new and truths being told and the truth will be revealed about what has been going on with you. You will have safe passage. You will be taking a journey and you will have refuge. The dark times are almost over. And this is a Capricorn card. So there could be a Capricorn that's involved in this situation. But I'm, feel, I'm feeling more like the Capricorn is your guardian angel. We have the Knight of Swords, which is the heart card. And I told you sudden action is about to transpire. Someone is going to help you and they're going to take charge in doing so because they have a warrior-like spirit. They are a risk taker. And to clarify this card, we receive the heart. Whomever that's coming in to help you loves you. They have a lot of affection for you. This is a loving person. And if this situation is about romance, this person has a lot of passion for you. They have a crush on you. And for the ones who this is not about romance, this person that wants to help you, loves you. That will help you, loves you. And the bonus card we have is ring. This is a commitment. This person that's coming in to rescue you, where you're going, there will be a commitment, an agreement. This will be a contract. This is a Taurus that also may be involved in this situation. If this is about love, the commitment is a proposal of marriage. A promise. If this is not about love, this is a promise, a contract. That whomever hurt you will never be able to get their hands on you again. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the number 35, which is anchor. That's safety. I told you somebody is coming in to help. They see through the manipulation. This card is safety. This card is stability. The anchor is consistent and long term. And this card is a Capricorn card again. So Capricorn is showing up in your reading twice and I feel like a Capricorn is going to help you, has been helping you, has been your guardian angel. I'm going to see <clears throat> what, I've, what other messages I can give to you. Excuse me. The weather is changing, so I think I have a cold or these are allergies. So, my apologies. This is my soul truth deck. I would like to see what other information that I can possibly leave you with Aquarius. Aquarius, your readings have been different. And you feel stuck, you feel alone, you feel like there's no help around. But guess what, help is on the way. And I know I probably said that in your readings, but I feel like it's going to be in the month of October. I'm going to stop right here. This is 
what is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now? So what is the most limiting belief you have that is keeping you away from what you want right now? What story are you telling yourself, Aquarius? When you think about your dreams, what is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind? If you are not living the life you desire, it's because a part of you doesn't believe it's possible. Believe and know that changes are coming. Believe and know that everything is possible. Believe and know that you have to believe that everything is possible. If you have a limiting belief that things are impossible, then they will be impossible. But you have to believe that your possibilities are endless. So today's Soul Action Aquaria, it's time to upgrade. Look your belief in the eye. Where did it come from? What new belief are you ready to adopt in its place? How will this change your results? Remember, your beliefs is the root of your result. Own it, heal it, upgrade it. I told you your situation is about to change. At the bottom of the deck, from whom can I release my judgment right now? So, who can you release your judgments right now? Aquarius, judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. It blinds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop the expectations, and be grateful for what is. Today's soul action. Look at the person you are judging as if you are looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this truth. When I left the judgment from myself, when I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved, I am whole, I am limitless, and so are they. You are loved, Aquarius. So lift the judgment. Even with the people that have hurt you, we have to forgive, right? But just because you forgive a person doesn't mean that you have to be in their presence ever again. And when you forgive someone, it doesn't mean you're forgiving them per se. You're forgiving the situation. And when you forgive a situation, that releases you from having to carry that burden. So some people think that when they forgive someone that they have to socialize with that person. And that's not the case. You don't have to socialize with that person. You know, um, when I hear people say, well, you forgave me, right? No, I didn't forgive you for you. I forgave you for myself, but that doesn't mean that I have to deal with you in any capacity. So you're forgiving someone not solely for them, but for you, for your happiness. So you don't have to carry that burden of what transpired with you for the rest of your life. Aquarius, I wish you nothing but happiness and understand and know this, that better days are on the way for you, to you, and they're happening behind the scenes. Your guardian angels see everything. And I know you're probably saying, well, what's taking so long? To you, it may seem like a long time, but it won't be that much longer. You have family members, your guardian angels, working behind the scenes, crossed over loved ones. They see everything that you have endured. And help is most definitely on its way. I am Empress Real 1584, the Good Witch. Let's begin healing together. And I wish you nothing but peace, safety, happiness, love, and laughter. Thank you.